not in the corner, but he's watching from afar. Clemson in the yellow trunks with the sponsors all over, and Woods in the white. The Sheffield man from the Westfield area still lives in the rough parts of Sheffield. Big family. Five brothers, two sisters. Girlfriend Natalia down here watching. Well, we just doesn't have a problem landing punches on Clemson. So we're, we're at the halfway stage. I think the time is right now for him to get the chin down, the shoulders and hands, the hands up and just start marching forward, getting some snap into the punches. You've got him a round ahead, Clemson. Clemson one round ahead at the moment. But I think the time is right now. He's shaking Clemson a couple of times. He has the power to hurt him. Don't. Clemson is more effective coming forward, so if you can start backing him up now, do it carefully, get the chin down and the hands up, and just start pushing this fellow back. It shows how subjective a fight is, because Nicky thinks Woods is really dominating. No, no, I think, I think uh, Nicky said that he lost his way in the last round, a little bit lost his concentration. I think Clemson, one round up, is uh, fairly accurate. I don't know if the officials will agree with me. But Woods wants back into the, the groove he was in. The fourth round. The judges from Madrid, Pagano in Italy, and Moscow here at the ringside for this European light heavyweight title matchup. Can Ole Clementson regain the title that he won so spectacularly over here, which he vacated to fight for world honours? Which is probably his last throw of the dice. As for Woods, he's got to keep. There's a little left hand that went in from Woods, which Clementson thought was low. Surprised that Clementson complaining about that. I didn't think it was in the danger zone. It was below the belt, but not the danger zone. Surprised up there. Just blowing his nose slightly, Clementson, as well. I don't know whether the blood's affecting that. Woods has taken a little bit too long to get the punches off again here. Definitely dropped down a gear. He has to find that gear he had in the fourth round. But his boxing was sharp control. I like to see him coming forward. Again, he worked a little bit scrappy in this round, but Clemson's out working him again. Yes, Woods was working on sprints around the Don Valley athletic track. Because he didn't feel he was working hard enough in fights. I mean, there's a possibility he's thinking about reserving strength. He maybe sees this as a long fight, which most of us did. But uh, he's coming together now at the end of the round, but he's left it too late in this round for me. Oh, right hand, again, Clemson's legs just seem to betray him ever so slowly. Back here, we have the European light heavyweight title up for grabs. Champion Clinton Woods in the white trunks from Sheffield with Clinton on the waistband. Up against 28-year-old Norwegian, the Golden Viking, Hule Clemson who's won 42 of his 46 and is hoping for one last stab in world class. He's certainly a world class puncher and he's got Woods there. That's that the power though, that's the power we were thinking of. Okay, Adam, he's not hurt. I can tell by the way it all goes, but he's not hurt. We're okay here, but that's a big round for Clemson unless Woods can turn the rest of the round up, around in his favor. Clemson raised his arms. He goes straight after Woods now, like a predator. Woods comes back. This is similar to when he was hurt by Sam Louis. That's when he dropped his hands, but he's keeping those gloves up sensibly, Clinton Woods. The cowbells start to ring around Wembley. Has Ule Clementson found the breakthrough here in the eighth? Back comes Woods. Clemson's gum shield's down again. Again, there'll be a break. And... Maybe that will suit Clinton Woods, who just looks at his corner. He doesn't look hurt from that. I can see by the way he went down, it wasn't seriously hurt, but still a knockdown. And, uh, as you know, we scored that knockdown rounds big. Rucks and left from Woods, and now the crowd get behind the Sheffield man. Great action here, right to the left, really hurt Clemson. He looks out on his feet, and suddenly Woods has turned this around. corner shouts to him to keep his gloves up a right have a cut goes in the referee spits them what a tremendous battle this has turned out to be if they just it could get Clemson on the floor then 
Back comes Boulay with a right hand. The right hooks and lefts. Fantastic toe-to-toe -to -toe stuff. And they're blowing a little, both of them too. How much is this taking out of the fighters? This may be the deciding round in the fight, Adam. The one who can come out stronger in the next round, provided this fight last until the next round. Really intense action again. Clementson's legs wobble. Something seriously wrong, it looks like, with his balance tonight, Ule Clementson. I mean, fighters reach this stage, Adam, where the punch resistance leaves them. And I'm wondering about Clemenson because so many times, short little jolting shots have had an effect on him. Every good punch that Woods has landed has had a visible effect on him. Now Woods drops his hands. Um, well, what a round that. The first one he disputed. So a breakthrough for Clemenson, or was he more on the receiving end? Four rounds to go. European light heavyweight title, 12 stone, 7 belt. Champion Clinton Woods, former champion Ole Clementson. Very little between them, but Jim, how are you seeing it? I've got Clementson two points in front of them, three points in front. Well, my own arithmetic has lost me, I thought of two points in front. But is Clementson starting to run out of steam? Woods tries to work the body. Maybe that's what they're telling him in the corner. He looks a shadow of what he did at the beginning. Ule Clementson, as Woods catches him with clean shots. Left some rights raining in, and the referee starting to take a closer look. Clementson back on the ropes. Is he preparing for that sucker punch? There's a cut now by the right eye as well of Ole Clementson to add to his trouble. There's blood everywhere. And Daniel Talon, the ref, keeping guard. Right up against Sean Woods. And it's not Ole Clementson. A terrific shot from Clinton Woods to retain the European light heavyweight crown. Immediately, it is over. And probably the greatest night of Clinton Woods' life. He has got one up on his best friend, Ole Clementson. He didn't think he was going to win this beforehand and win it in style. Well, I don't know, but we said earlier the ideal style for Clementson, as long as he stuck to his careful sound boxing, and that's exactly what he did. And for a first look, you thought maybe the referee stepped in a little bit quickly, but he didn't because Clementson did not complain in the slightest. He's upset, he's disappointed, obviously, but he didn't complain about the referee stopping the fight so quickly. Wonderful performance. He stopped Crawford Ashley. He's now stopped the only Clementson, so he's proved he's without doubt the best that he's weight in Europe. And on your card, he was three rounds behind and staring a defeat on points in the face. Yeah, they always hit up. To my mind, he always had the ability to beat this fellow, but he was going about it wrong. He was falling asleep and he's been out. What his punching and his work was always better than Clementson, but he wouldn't move up the gear. He wouldn't sustain it when he did move up the gears. So, on my card, they were struggling, but it all doesn't matter when you finish with punches like that. Let's have a look to the build-up of the finish. Left hook. Every good shot he landed on target troubled Clementson. I wonder maybe if Clementson's punch resistance is beginning to go, because every single solid shot had him in trouble. And uh, Clinton, he knew it got a wake-up call in the previous round, and this is how he reacted. First class, and oh, again... When he goes on the attack, when he's got the man in trouble, he's still got the hands up and the chins down. Look, that's exactly what you want to see. Lovely finish. At times, I thought Ole Clementson might be shot. Maybe this is time for him to think about it's his career. It's punch resistance I'm worried about. You don't like to see a fighter who is visibly shaken with every decent punch that lands on target. And that seemed to be the case with Clemson. A couple of times, his legs seem to do strange things. Uh, it may be time now to say, well, I've had a good career, go on to something else. But lovely, I mean, that, that, I mean, that punch wasn't tough to shake anybody. There was a little jabs and hooks that were shaking him earlier on. And they hug in the ring, the two of them, best friends out. Clinton said he was going to go for a drink, come what may, with Ule after the fight. And Clementson congratulates the crowd, a dignified loser.